Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with just a fun extra video, nothing gaming related. Um I just figured I'd make a fun parody video of Twilight. Since you know it's a big thing and uh I'm doing a lot of Castlevania stuff. So I I've been sitting here thinking. Everyone's like I what got me thinking is there was actually a Burger King commercial where the, these girls are coming up to people saying, are you Team Edward, are you Team Jacob? I think it's Jacob. I don't, I don't fucking care. It's a horrible book. But anyway, these girls coming up, like, which team are you, which team are you? And I thought to myself, what would my response be if a bunch of little tween teenage girls come up and asked me while I was trying to eat food... Food, delicious food that I would like to eat. What team I'm on for a fictitious, horrible story. And I thought to myself, I'd be team fucking Belmont. <laughs> because, let, let's look at this analytically from, from the Castlevania point of view. You've got the Belmonts, who've obviously killed werewolves, because we, we kill werewolves all the time. It's the, the Colosseum boss in Symphony of the Night. One of, I mean, he's not even a full boss by himself. He's Minotaur and werewolf, because werewolf by himself just sucks. And let's not forget how many times Dracula, the lord of the vampires, has had his ass spanked by a Belmont. And hell, not even a Belmont all the time. Maybe it's some sort of knockoff Belmont, like Eric Lacard, or Maria Reinhardt, or who else? I mean, there's so many of them. It's it's insane. And now let's look at the Twilight characters. You've got the 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 angsty vampire guy, whatever the fuck his name is. Dude needs to. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, I'd say he needs to go out into the sunlight, but in this world they sparkle, which just doesn't make it any better. Alright, he's a vampire. He's, you know, hundreds of years old. And he's in love with a seven, 16, 17, some underage girl. That's pedophilia. He's a pedophile. Why? Because he's immortal, she's underage. Think about it. Just, Just do the math there. If he were to do that in any state, he'd be put in jail for the rest of his eternal life until a Belmont came and staked him. I mean, hell, I'd even take Buffy the Vampire Slayer over either of them. Buffy could at least, you know, stab one of them in the chest with a stake and look hot while doing it. Ah, Sarah Michelle Geller. Anyway, next, let's look at the werewolf guy. Again, werewolf, not even a, a main boss. This guy, this guy, I... I don't even know where to begin with this. He's He walks around shirtless half the time, turns into a wolf. Not even a werewolf, because he's not on... He's not bipedal. He doesn't stand on two legs. He just turns into a giant wolf. That kind of makes him more of a warg, really, because he's just a giant wolf. Or a timber wolf, maybe. Who knows? Now, that that's bestiality. If she falls in love with him, that's just creepy on so many levels. <laughs> So again, let's just... <sighs> creepy old vampire, creepy dog man. Not where I'm not even calling him a werewolf. He's a dog man. Now... <sighs> I, I worked in a bookstore. I'm not going to name which one, but eh, nowadays, you take your pick. There's only two. There's more than two, but major chain bookstores. Anyway, I I worked at it during the release for all of the Twilight books. All of them. Each one just numbed my mind worse and worse and worse with each successive book as to how people can read this trollop trash. The book itself is aimed at angsty teens, and I just think of the Potter Puppet Pals with Harry and the wizard angst smacking his head against a wall going angst, angst, angst. That's the only type of demographic that I can think of that loves this book. And I'm going to get reamed for this because my fiancé loves this book. <laughs> so, I guess part of it's just I worked in the retail industry when this was popular, and it's still popular, and I'm subjected to it in my home life as well. But anyway, 
I retaliate with this video. Now, I, I, I hate a lot of, of mainstream pop culture. I really do. Uh, I hated all of the Harry Potters when they came out. I've never read the Harry Potter books. I've never read the Twilight books. I refuse. Uh, just... They, they fill my head with questions as to why does this world not make any sense when it would make perfect sense if normal people were in it. And I'll, I, I'll do another rant about Harry Potter in another video. Uh, this one's about Twilight. Just the whole archetype of the book just screams abusive relationship or creepy relationship at best. So let's, let's just stick with, let's, let's pray to God that the Belmonts come in. I will just say all of them. All of them come in. Not even one of them. Even though one would be more than enough, more than sufficient to take on the hordes of vampires and hordes of werewolves inhabiting this gray town where everyone's out in daylight in which apparently the creatures of the night mean nothing. They're all out during the day because it's so gray and lack of sun that... Eh, anyway. So... All of the Belmonts show up. How, how long do you think it would take for all of the Belmonts just to wipe this entire area off the map as far as supernatural problems? I'd give it maybe 20 minutes. You'd have Richter in one corner spamming Hydro Storm. You'd have Leon using uh, the, the first vampire killer just whipping things heads off or just wrapping the whip around people's necks and choking them to death with it and popping their freakish sparkle vampire heads off. And who else do we have? I mean, how, let's even bring in non-Belmonts. Let's have Alucard show up. He's a real vampire. And he's not even a real vampire. He's half vampire. He's a... I, I believe it's uh, pronounced Damphir? Uh He's half vampire. He's half human. And he can turn into a wolf, a bat, and poisonous gas. Or at least mist, if you don't even get that upgrade. So, really, any one of these people could just go through and wipe the floor with it. I would personally think uh, Trevor Belmont, because he's probably one of the most badass vampire hunters, because he's got a scar across his face, and scars across your face instantly denote more badass vampire hunter. I think he he would be more than enough, but let well, we can even go with some of the ones that no one cares about. Like I don't even remember their names, <laughs> but I'm sure there's got to be at least one or two that. Uh, I mean, let's even take one that was written out of Castlevania canon. Sonia Belmont. She was supposedly the first Belmont, and she uh, uh, was retconned out that she was supposed to have given birth to Trevor. I think either Trevor or Alucard. She gave birth to someone that was important later, and they just kind of retconned that out of the, the whole series when they, they came out with uh, Lament of Innocence. So, yeah, Team Edward, Team Jacob can go fuck yourselves. We're going to go with Team Belmont, and I really wish people would, would back me on this and just go Team Belmont and start, you know, ha have like a whip as the symbol and just start whipping Twilight fan people all over the place. I can't even say fan girls because there, there's a lot of guys that like it too and it's like just fan people because I, I do admit that it's geared toward a more female audience but there are male supporters of it as well. But for all of you who are for anti-Twilight or pro-Castlevania or both, uh, let's just go with uh, Team Belmont and, and support them. And support them by giving them hearts to power their sub weapons so they can hydro storm all of these angsty vampire werewolf wannabes out of existence. So yeah, that's that's been my rant. Um, <laughs> thank you all for for listening and letting me get this off of my chest. And now I go back to let's plays. So uh, yeah, you all enjoy. Later, everyone.